Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are delving into the fascinating world of Linux distributions as we take a comprehensive look at two giants in the field, Ubuntu and Fedora. Deciding between these two highly acclaimed distributions might seem like a daunting task, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you through every step. In this video, we'll be dissecting the installation processes, analyzing desktop environments, comparing package management systems, diving into hardware support, and so much more. Let's kick things off by discussing the installation experience. Ubuntu's Ubiquiti installer has gained a reputation for its exceptional user-friendliness. Rewind to 2004, and installing Linux was an arduous task, but Ubiquiti changed the game. With its straightforward interface, setting up Ubuntu takes around 10 minutes. What's more, it seamlessly identifies existing Windows installations, making dual boot setups a breeze. In contrast, Fedora employs the Anaconda installer, which is also user-friendly but might be slightly more intricate than Ubuntu's. Formatting existing drives can be a bit more involved with Fedora's installer. Moreover, Ubuntu offers the convenience of installing updates and third-party codecs during installation, giving it an extra layer of advantage. Both Ubuntu and Fedora default to the GNOME desktop environment. However, while Fedora embraces the stock GNOME experience, Ubuntu adds its own unique touch by incorporating customizations reminiscent of its previous Unity desktop. Despite this, both distributions offer a range of desktop variants to cater to individual preferences. Package management is a pivotal aspect of any Linux distribution. Ubuntu employs the App Package Manager, boasting an extensive repository of software that covers both FOSS and non-FOSS applications. On the other hand, Fedora, adhering to its open-source ethos, relies on the DNF Package Manager. While Fedora's primary focus is on open-source software, you can tap into RPM Fusion repositories to access a broader range of applications. Linux occasionally grapples with hardware compatibility issues, particularly concerning Wi-Fi adapters and graphics cards. This is where Ubuntu takes the spotlight by offering effortless installation of proprietary drivers, significantly enhancing hardware support. In contrast, Fedora's unwavering commitment to open-source software makes the installation of proprietary drivers a more intricate affair. Considering the expansive Windows user base, the emergence of the Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, is a game-changer. While Ubuntu officially supports WSL2, Fedora can be made to work through the implementation of official guides, ensuring a taste of Linux even in Windows environments. Both Ubuntu and Fedora offer robust support through vibrant community forums. While Fedora boasts a strong and dedicated following, Ubuntu's immense popularity has paved the way for a plethora of troubleshooting resources and learning materials. Fedora adheres to a 6-month release cycle, with each version receiving support for 13 months. In contrast, Ubuntu offers both regular and LTS releases. Regular releases mirror Fedora's 6-month cycle but enjoy 9 months of support. On the other hand, LTS releases, occurring every two years, guarantee a stable platform with a support span of five years, perfect for those who value continuity over frequent changes. Ubuntu finds its foundation in Debian, an esteemed community project. On the other hand, Fedora, backed by Red Hat, serves as a testing ground for new features before they graduate to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The solid enterprise support backing both distributions ensures consistent maintenance and reliability. While our focus has predominantly centered on the desktop, it's essential to consider server environments. Ubuntu's presence extends beyond desktops, with a robust presence on the server side. Fedora also offers a server addition, but its frequent upgrade cycle might not align with every sysadmin's preferences.
In conclusion, the choice between Ubuntu and Fedora is a nuanced one. Ubuntu shines with its rich software availability, straightforward driver installation, and comprehensive online support, making it particularly suitable for newcomers to the Linux world. On the other hand, Fedora's strong commitment to open-source principles and its affiliation with Red Hat Technologies make it an enticing choice for those looking to experiment with enterprise-grade concepts. Ultimately, the decision rests upon your needs, experience level, and personal preferences. Don't forget that you can always test both distributions using live USBs or virtual machines to discover the perfect fit for your unique requirements. That brings us to the end of our in-depth exploration of Ubuntu and Fedora. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more engaging content centered around the world of Linux. We're eager to hear your thoughts on the Ubuntu vs Fedora debate, so please share your insights in the comments section below. Until next time, happy computing!